Now all we gotta do is bring the pendant back to Therese at the asylum. And then hopefully, if she's happy, if I'm happy, then she will be calling off the feud with Bertram Tong. And then he'll show himself? That's the hope anyway, but we don't really know anything about him right now. B. I need a map. I need a map or we can just go back to where we came from to begin with. C? Hmm. No? What? It's not a map? I mean, we could just walk out, but... I'd like to get close to where we actually want to be, if that is okay. The asylum is number six. We are... Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just get out of here. We'll figure it out once we get out. Oh! And actually getting out here is a good idea too, because now I know where the other manhole covers are. That lady's been here the whole night. No, we want to go this way. What was the reason why Therese wanted me to get the pendant again? Because she was investing in that property or something? So yeah, it really sounded like a construction project. They needed to get people out of here. And the ghost was preventing that from happening. In the very end, we didn't have to do any sort of fighting in this place. At all, surprisingly enough. Hey lady! Uh, hi. Oh! Oh! I put a point into seduction earlier! Oh... Hey, aren't you that actress? Oh, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even look that happy. Uh... I wish that I was a better painter, so that I could capture your face for the ages. Hmm... I have something I want to tell you. Come closer. Oh! Oh my! So we can do a public feeding session, and it's okay? She still starts zoning out though. Sorry. But I guess if you do that in a club, no one really cares. Oh, well, good to know, good to know. Hey! Something else you need, beautiful? Don't call me beautiful. I just need someone to tell my troubles to. Oh boy. Again. I was born in the ghetto. Yeah. I'm mad as hell at the world. Uh-huh. I'm a walking TV movie of the week. Right. You gonna buy a drink or what? <laughs> that was pretty contentless. Eh, don't touch this up, sorry. Goodbye. I can't buy it even if I wanted to. Like, that's just it. Ooh, goth lady here. Hey, so maybe even the the Danielle girl here, maybe she'll be okay with me? Because last time, she didn't really... Hey, you. hey, I haven't stopped thinking about you since the last time we talked. Now you've got me curious. Come here, and I'll show you why I killed the cat. It's a long time until sunrise. Wanna come play with me? What did I do with my looks? Did I just put on some makeup, got some new clothes, or what happened? Suddenly everybody's into me. Oh yes, all night long. Ah... Uh, something seems to be happening in the back there with the two people. Well, we don't actually need blood right now. Thank you though. Good option to have. Now everybody seems like they're half-conscious. Hey, goth people. Hey, Knox. Hey, what's up, girl? Nothing special. Oh man, thanks again for your help. Yeah, no worries. As long as your boss comes out and you know lets me get into the warehouse and all that, I'll be happy. I can't press the freaking button. How often do you get this kind of configuration for an elevator? Two doors. Like that? I mean, usually it would be one door here and the one door on the other side, right? Ah, no, 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 no! 
no, no, no. Thank you. Oh. Just the reason I'm here today? Did I look at our computer already? That's right! We were gonna come back and hack our computer, right? Or at the minimum, look at this. Uh... Nope. But if I... Can I use Auspex here? Last time I didn't try it because I didn't want to, like, get a violation. But if I can just do it right now... Yeah, it's not allowed. We just can't do Auspex here. Which means... I'm pretty sure we had a bunch of points we didn't distribute yet. And that was the whole point of why I waited, right? Let's see here. Hacking. I can either do computer or wits. Computer is just hacking. Wits is combat defense and hacking. So wits, eight points? Yeah. You know what would be a better option though? Mm, if we keep waiting a little bit longer, because uh, look at this, Auspex, 10 points, and it gives me two points to wits and one point to perception. As opposed to using eight points to get wits, one wit. Right? So Auspex seems to be a much better bang for the buck. Do I want to keep waiting? I think so. But can I look at anything here? I wonder if I can guess it based on the scrambledness. It doesn't seem like it. Well, I'll be back. Uh... Yeah. Oh, she's the one with the computer, but... Jeanette? Kitty, 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 kitty. Is there a cat there? Okay. But Jeanette only has a laptop. Which I am apparently not allowed to look at now. Is it the light stand that's in the way? No, I want to look at this stuff. Hey, Jeanette, or uh, what about this door? Mmm, it's a bathroom. Last time she was locking herself in here because her sister was being mean to her. You have three toothbrushes. Oh. Three people here? No, there's only two people, right? Do you I sleep on the same you. bed? How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. <laughs> you made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. All the time, Jeanette. What do I do in your thoughts? What all suede kittens do. On hands and knees, you lap up the milk of me. <laughs> and we purr, kitten, like dragonflies buzzing around frog bellies. The milk of me? <laughs> Kinky. So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? Well, Therese told me to get the pendant, but I know she doesn't like you. I don't think... Yeah, I'm not giving it to anyone but Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? No, but it's the... It's the principle of it, right? Somebody asked me to do something for them, so I go back to that person. And the person is not you. That's all. No, please calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, that's not fair! I'm not a fool! This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. No, I don't doubt that at all. I really don't. Therese is the person with the accounting and the, the business stuff, and you're the social one, making the customers happy, right? This club needs the both of you. <sighs> I understand, but I still can't give it to you. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? The fact that she's begging me more and more to give it to her just makes me want to give it to her less. I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to Therese. 
Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? So I think for Jeanette, we don't have to be too worried about offending her too much because look at how quickly her face just changed. She was like, wah, my sister bullies me, I'm so sad, wah. But I'm like, no, sorry, Jeanette, I just can't do this. And, she, and then right afterwards, she's like, okay, fine. And she's completely okay again. She just doesn't seem to care that much. It doesn't really mean that much to her. She bounces back quickly. Uh, a favor? <sighs> Should we keep sucking up? What would put a smile on that face? Do you know Gallery Noir <laughs> down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. The milk of you? <laughs> Am I like part of your people now? Or am I like a self-employed contractor? Well, I need to talk the to tongue, but maybe I'll wait until we see Therese. For you, anything. <laughs> I promise <laughs> this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Whoa. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. I'm gonna go steal charity money? Destroy art? I perish the thought of such odious deeds. I refuse. That would be a Toreador thing, right? Because we're all about the arts and society and social people and whatnot. Um... For us, I don't really care if there's another group of people trying to get power in the city, but since we're on Jeanette and Teresa's side right now, I guess we should be helping them. And I don't want to piss her off. This lady seems... Volatile. <laughs> mm. Fine. I'll be back when it's finished. And this time the feud will be called off? Well, even if you say that, Jeanette probably doesn't know much about that. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. This lady is a handful. <laughs> I'd never intentionally keep you waiting, Jeanette. Goodbye. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Duckling. What? Okay, we're probably gonna get murdered by an exploding painting or something. Thanks, I will. You can't hide from me. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Yeah, why can't I touch that now? Not that I can hack it right now, but I'm scared. Kitty, 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 kitty. Does that mean that when Therese comes back, I'm not gonna be able to look at this? I wanna look at it. Uh, where is your sister anyway? I should I draw a map yeah. for you? The gallery's right down the street. Oh, no need, I'll find it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's All sassing me a little bit. Okay. Well, we have been in the gallery before, but something about the paintings? Okay... And we gotta steal charity money? Well, as long as I get a cut, I don't care. <laughs> Look, starving artist. Oh, that's such a sin! I'm an artist! And I'm gonna go ruin somebody's paintings at the freaking gallery? Oh... Man... I guess becoming a vampire means I have no moral standards anymore. That's okay, I'm okay with that. What? Hey lady, you're okay again. All right. Oh man, this is... This is against my moral compass. But I gotta do it because... If it's a quest, then we gotta do it, right? And even if you gave me that one quest about how, hey, should you really be tricking that other young fledgling into trying to kill the president or not, if you gave me that choice again, I would probably do it again. Whatever. We're doing all of this. Or as much as we can. 
I don't know, maybe doing some things will block us out from doing other things. Hey, that guy's new. Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Are you talking about the back side of the art gallery? That's right next to him. Didn't you get the call? I don't want to seduce him. <laughs> huh? Well, what call are you talking about there, Missy? One of the artists pissed off the director, so I'm here to pull their art from the show. And who might you be then, Missy? I'm the museum director's assistant. Think you can let me in? Yeah? Does that pay well? Just taking one look at you, I'd say there's a lot of money in that line of work. Me, security's in my blood. My father, father's father, my six brothers. <laughs> yeah, we're all real keen on upholding the law, like a family of Magnum PIs. That's great, but I also have a job to do. Look, uh, I'll let you in. But I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after my shift. Just so you're aware. I'd expect it. Better file a 45B as well, just to make sure. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B? Huh? Everyone knows about 45B. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice night. This guy's a damn poser. See ya. Oh, you're just letting me in directly. I don't even have to go to the back? Well, shouldn't you have been standing in front of the door then? Or maybe you glitched out or something. <laughs> okay. Jeanette has asked you to go to Gallery Noir and slash the paintings inside and steal a charity box, would you? You retrieve the pendant from the Ocean House to bring to Therese as payment to convince her to call off her feud with Tongue. But she wasn't at the asylum. You should check back later. I don't even know if Jeanette... Like, I don't think this thing... Oh my god, what if Therese gets mad at me for doing that? Oh god. Mm. You have discovered a journal in the Ocean House. According to its contents, a jealous husband murdered his wife and family because of a locket. The murderous ghost of the husband means to keep her trapped here forever with him. And she seems to be trying to help you find a way to free her. Oh, when do we get this? Okay, it seems like this is an ongoing thing then. That... I don't know, maybe it's gotta do with... The pendant? Okay, we'll leave it alone for now. I got nine points, I just need one more for the aspects. Oh, that's so good though, why is it so good? Compared to wits. Yeah, and celerity... Anyway, I'll look at all that later. Is it okay for us to just waltz in? Because that guy knows me, so I kind of still don't want to go in that way. If we can, I would still rather go in through the back. I wish I didn't talk to him at all. I wish I just came in here and, I don't know, find a manhole cover. Yeah, exactly. I could have just done that. Oh, wow. I guess one more point in melee was all I needed. Oh, okay. I mean... Yeah, okay. I'm just worried that coming in this way might mess something up. No one's here though, right? And we got our last point. Got inside the gallery without killing anyone. What? <coughs> Normally would we have to kill the security guard? Holy crap. Cain cursed by God. Cane, like the cane in Cane Knight. We can just look around. Cain meets Lilith. Cain is some Bible thing, right? Like Abel, was it? Yeah, Abel. Cain slays Abel. Unfortunately, I don't know the Bible very well, so I have no idea what he did. Cain spurns Lilith. It's a very topical exhibition. Vampires trying to gain power, holding an exhibition about Cain. Okay. Don't know what's gonna happen, but uh... So you want me to just like... Just slash it? With a fire axe? 
Oh god. Oh no. Does that work like that? Did you actually want me to slash the paintings inside? Do I have to use a sword maybe? Because this is too blunt? This ain't it. No, I don't think this is working. No? I will try... the sword. Oh, I got a knife. Oh, do you want me to use a knife? When did I get this knife? Did you give it to me? Definitely didn't have it before. Did I... did I do it? What if I'm pissing off some other vampire clan though? This could be really bad. But even if that happens, I'd still want to do it. Oh! Oh, oh, oh great. Oh great. Oh! Blood Guardian! Nope. Hold on. Ow! Oh, this person's giving me heavy damage. It's giving me yellow damage. Oh my goodness. Am I okay? Can I run away a little bit? Hold on. I don't have that much blood. Gotta be careful. Holy! We're having a fight inside the art gallery! Oh my gosh! I feel like maybe I don't want to use a gun, just because it'll be louder, although I doubt it matters. Get him! Oh. Wow, gee. Thanks, Jeanette. Really did me a solid here. What was that all about? A blood guardian. Okay, we're definitely going through the back door, because what was that? We gotta... we gotta holster up. I feel like we activated some... I don't know, we probably pissed off some taboo, exorcism, spiritual thing. Hey, uh, turns out I didn't need to go in after all. Thanks, man, but, uh, yeah. Pleasure working with you, Missy. Remember, never let the stale, spongy cake of life keep you from getting to the tasty cream filling of success. Uh, sure, I'll take that to heart. Good night. I never went in anyway. You didn't see me go in. I didn't go in. Okay. Now we can definitely afford Auspex. But we also need to like heal up. Does it work the way I think it does? Giving me an extra... I guess I gotta accept it first. Oh! I'm a real dummy, because I just realized that it probably means when I use Auspex, it gives me two points to wits and one point to perception, right? But I can't use Auspex in the Elysium anyway. Oh, man. Man. Okay, you know what? In that case, I'll just put three points into the computer right now. Because I do want to read the computer. Hmm. Now, how do I get the health fixed? It's a yellow bar now. Oh, it's healing. It's healing. Probably now would be a good time to get in the... 
asylum and start feeding on somebody? I don't got blood. Hey girl, do you mind? Again? I missed you. Did you miss me? Yeah, sure. Uh, terribly. Let me show you how sorry I am. <laughs> we don't even need to introduce ourselves anymore. How kind of them to be considerate of me. Don't overly give me a bunch of prompts to have to go through. Excuse me. And we also lost some humanity for taking the charity bu- It's called fun, people. Whoa, that was close. I nearly freaking <laughs> wrong button. Hey you. Mommy what? Oh my god. Mommy's here to get a little more sugar. <laughs> Wanna come play with me? As I said, I do. Oh my health is okay now. But I still want the full bar of blood. Do you guys have cheap blood or something? It goes by so fast. Or maybe it's because they're willing. Because I'm willingly biting into their neck and all. So that's why their blood goes by super, super quickly. Uh, okay. Apparently, if I dance here... Oh my god. Why'd you all stop dancing? Okay, I like that you're all just congregating around me, but... Oh, there's so many repeats of... People. <laughs> What's wrong with this lady? She's not doing anything. I feel a chill. The only one who needs to chill here is you. Come on, dance. Dance. Apparently, if I do this long enough, I can get a point of humanity, which might make up for my lack of humanity in stealing the charity box. Dude, this lady. Dance or get off the floor. You're just ruining everyone's fun. Even that uptight guy from last time is dancing. The guy that looks like he completely doesn't fit in. Dude, what is with that lady? Oh. There's too many people dancing here? Hey! Where are y'all going away? Some of them are just leaving. Actually, it feels like the entire freaking club congregated around me. There's nobody else anywhere. I'm with somebody. I'm, yeah, you're the one who walked into me. Gosh. What? What are you wearing? Is that some kind of a... What the heck kind of a backpack is that? I kind of want to look at it. Oh my god, everyone's just... That lady looks so lonely now, the one I fed on. I don't even know her name. But I guess that's the sort of thing about clubs. I feel like my skin color looks really unhealthy compared to the people around here. But maybe it's a vampire thing. I'm guessing we are all kind of pale and not... We don't normally look too lively. Although being a Toreador, being social and all, we probably should look a little bit more lively. How long does this take? Oh my god, we lost two points of humanity for that. Humanity determines... What? Humanity determines how human we are. Yeah, how charitable, how moral we are. But in terms of actual effects... Uh, frenzy? If we have low humanity, maybe we'll go into frenzy more often. Although I thought that was more of a... Um, blood thing. Today. <laughs> Oh my lord, that was the longest session of dancing ever. Yeah, right back at you. Damn, man. Hey, y'all, let me out. Oh, brother. Thank you. Oh, brother. I'm a little bit worried that Therese is not going to be happy with me about slashing the paintings and all. But if it takes away the power from another clan, maybe she would be happy. And maybe she would see Jeanette a little bit more favorably, too. But. <laughs> They've been sisters for a long time, so I don't think one act is really gonna change their opinion. You, what were you thinking? Oh, I knew it. Oh God. Uh, er, the museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Ah, uh, I should have known. 
Jeanette was messing with me! Glad I didn't give her the pendant, but oh man. Wait. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! I didn't do it, I swear! But you did! Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. <laughs> I don't regret it, though. Look, if Jeanette came up to me and is like, Hey, do a quest for me. If I said no, I'll be thinking about that for the rest of my vampire days. So, no, I don't regret doing it. And I forgot. Jeanette and Tongue are related somehow. Are they, like, dating or seeing each other? Something like that, right? I swear I didn't do it! I even bought you the item from the Ocean House in a diary from there! Oh! Maybe I can fix this. Excellent! I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call up with you. Yes, yes. Yeah. <sighs> Don't be snarky. Yes, please. There's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. What? <gasps> For Santa Monica's most powerful kindred, I'd be happy to. No, you know what? She's businesswoman. She's practical. She doesn't need that sucking up. And how do I do that? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Wait. Wait, I just realized... When we saw Jeanette here, we didn't see Therese here. When we see Therese here, we don't see Jeanette here. And they're supposedly twins. This is making me think a little bit. Aww. Well, no matter, we still gotta play along, right? Okay. Oh, then last time when they were arguing, maybe there was nobody in the bathroom. Maybe she was just talking to herself the whole time, and that's why we couldn't open the freaking thing. Oh. Okay. I'll go, and then the feud is off. You know what? Uh, let's try the third option, because I want to see what she'll say. Because if they're the same person, then obviously I can't kill her, right? Why don't I just kill the crazy bitch so this never happens again? Jeanette is my sister and my child, or did you forget? What kind of monster would I be to condone such action? You have no more right to do such a thing as you do to even ask it. Go! Get out of here! I want her back. Yeah, okay. She doesn't want me to kill her, but is it really because she's your sister? And your child? Is that another term I'm not familiar with? Alright, I'll take care of it. Later. Made her a little bit upset. There is only one bed. How fast would it take for you to change all your clothes? I know unsavory characters trying to approach. They're so dirty. Aww. Hey, this computer is okay again. Got some points just now. I think the points probably come by pretty regularly, right? So I don't have to be too worried about, you know, making mistakes and whatever. Emails. Okay. This is Jeanette's computer. Quote unquote, Jeanette. Wiz. Wi wishes. I thought it was gonna be wisdom, and I was thinking, Jeanette? Wisdom? Friday night. From Mikey. Hey, what are you doing this Friday night? I was thinking about stopping by the club. Maybe we can do some. <laughs> dancing? Santa Monica is my city. From Therese Vorman. You dirty little slut! How dare you meddle in the affairs of my city? 
And with that disgusting Nosferatu, no less. <laughs> they don't even talk to each other in person anymore? Communicating primarily by email in 2004? You guys are... You guys are ahead of the wave. The technology wave. Regarding Santa Monica as my city. Okay, so Jeanette said something, and Therese sent something back. I'm disgusting? I'm not the one that let the Nosferatu touch me. Can't you see that he's trying to tear us apart to take over the city? How could you? And now my gallery too? I'm gonna show you a little something, Jeanette. The sun! Whoops. Good thing we could persuade Therese a bit. And thank god I didn't give Jeanette the freaking pendant, holy crap. If I didn't have that, she'd probably be really angry with me. Call me. Mikey? Mikey at yahooligan.vtm <laughs> Birdie? Shreknet.vtm If we can find Bertram Tongue here, then we'd be done, right? Arthur? Sarah? Oops. Sarah? Jack? Is that the same Jack? Who knows? Hmm. Well, this is what it is. This is what it is. Here we- Yes! Every time one of them's here, we can't look at the other computer. So now if we want to look at that one, we gotta wait until... Jeanette's back. Which... I mean, we can kind of guess what it is already though. It's gonna be the other side of Jeanette's emails. Calling Therese disgusting and whatnot. But I wonder... I wonder... All we gotta do now is go to the... Diner? Might want to get a little bit more blood too, if we can. To avoid frenzying. But if we can see what frenzy is like, that might be fun too. Just to see it once or twice. Basically, we're gonna be like Lily, right? We're gonna uncontrollably kill somebody. Bye, everybody. The diner's right outside. But is there a way that... Okay, let's say that Therese is really Jeanette. Could she have made it to the diner before me? I don't know, maybe she could've. She's a vampire. Remember that Cathayan? He could jump all the way across and stuff, so... Who knows? Who knows? Therese has asked you to go to the diner to meet with Jeanette to assure her that Therese does not mean to harm her. What about the other stuff? Yeah, we slashed the paintings. By delivering the pendant to Therese, you have given her the means to free the spirits of the Ocean House, thereby delivering the unfortunate wife to her eternal reward, and her murderous husband to his eternal damnation. Oh, will we see that, or is that just it? The largest sect of vampires in existence, the Camarilla. Whoa. I don't see Jeanette here. Actually, where even is the... the lady? What's going on here? There's nobody and a bunch of creepy, scary men. Whoa! Uh... Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What is this? What is this? Italian language? I've somehow got Italians on me? Which Italian did I piss off? The only Italian I can remember is Deb. Deb from the radio. She speaks Italian, I know this. <laughs> okay, I got a nice shotgun. Dude, what the hell though? What was that? Who did I piss off? Hey, sorry man, where is uh, where's the owner? What on earth is that sound? Presents! Wait, 
I was gonna do Blood Heal. When did I do Presence? Hello? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this town for this. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Yeah, notice how we didn't see Jeanette here. Yeah. And how somehow Jeanette is magically over there. Oh, I am gonna need a little bit more blood, man. This is... This is gonna be hard because there's really only one person in charge here, but she has some kind of a split personality issue. But now we have to please them both. How's that gonna work out? Lady, do you mind if I feed on you for the third time this night? I missed you. Did you miss me? Where did we leave off? Oh, I remember now. He's gonna die, man. Thank you. Thank you, lady. I just need to top off a little bit. Hey, you. Mommy's here. <laughs> I love my dollies. Wanna come play with them? Your dollies? What the hell? <laughs> How come I can't feed on any men in the club? There's just no men that are interested in me. It's called fun. Even though I didn't put in my <laughs> my history that I'm a homosexual. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not complaining. Close up, close up. Um, is this gonna be okay? Are we gonna be okay? Therese called you and told you the diner was a setup by Jeanette. She offered to call off the feud. You went to the diner, but... Huh... Well, we can't use anything in the Elysium. Stay out of this! To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram! I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. You poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You oh. take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Suddenly, remember how last time we were thinking about, hey, how come both of them are vampires? Because being a vampire is not hereditary. So somebody sired them both. And now we have our answer cut out for us. Jeanette? Oh, I just knew you'd come to save me. I promise you, if you help me out of this, I'll make sure you find Bertram. I swear. With Therese out of the way, I can do a lot more than just that for you. I can't kill either of you, though. And I really don't want it to end like that, because from a practical perspective, I feel like Therese is much more stable. But then, Jeanette is fun. <laughs> Jeanette's fun. <laughs> What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. Kine? So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. 
I heard him whisper how much he loved oh my god ear before he don't finish that sentence or you're dead oh we're sliding with a person here doesn't matter though I mean I don't want that sentence to be finished either you're gonna let her blab your secrets like that Therese don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up! Just shut up! Mmm... Maybe we're not killing either of them, physically, but whoever we side with could be the person that becomes the dominant personality, and the person that we end up dealing with. Stop it, Jeanette. That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. You chose to be a vampire? They tried to separate us. How? Only one of the personalities would become a vampire? Oh, I want to know more. I don't want either of you to go away. Uh, since I helped out Therese in the earlier conversation, I'm going to try to like... Go back and forth. And we'll just see what happens if we do that. That doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hmm... Well, Jeanette didn't really stop me from going to Tongue. It's just that I saw Jeanette and not Therese. And Therese was really angry at me, but she didn't kill me. She didn't point a gun at me. Oh, this is so hard. I kind of lean towards Jeanette just because I want to see what crazy things can happen. But Therese is the easier person to read by a long, a long, long mile. You're right, Jeanette. Therese tried to have me killed. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Did, did Jeanette really not try to get me killed, though? Because the Blood Guardian... I seem to remember you not mentioning what was in the painting on purpose. <laughs> what happened to your father, Therese? I was always good to father, but Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart, so he killed himself right in our room. Oh, no. Killed himself. Therese, you placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. This is hard. The truth is probably somewhere in the middle, obviously. I don't care who killed the father. Like, one of you did. One of you did. I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? If I get the gun, can I stop this? Or do I have to do it myself? Give me the gun. I don't know what's gonna happen, but at least it gives me a possibility, right? Oh! 
Oh no. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. What happened to me getting the gun? I couldn't do it. Ooh. Ah, okay, so I'm guessing maybe because in the conversation, I was alternating between siding between Therese and Jeanette, and then maybe towards the end, I sided with Jeanette a little bit more. So Therese... Therese was the one holding the gun, and she didn't trust me enough for me to get the gun from her? I'm guessing is what happened? Okay. Well, that was... Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. How did she kill Jeanette, though? She physically shot the gun. Wow. Yeah, let's not, let's not be smart. I understand. Goodbye. Do you mind if I look at your computer now? God... Damn it. It's because Therese is here. If Jeanette was here, then... We might be okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeanette! I'm so sorry, Jeanette. Could we have saved them both? I'll never know, and it'll forever haunt me. Oh no, we can't look at anything now. Well... Uh, thanks, I guess. The feud has been called off. Tung is hiding in an oil tank not far from the Elysium. Elysium? Asylum. You must meet with him and get him to show you a way into the warehouse so that the explosives can be set. Sibling rivalry. You managed to talk the Therese personality into killing the Jeanette personality. Therese has put the word out with Tung that the feud is off. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. At least we got our goal done. Whatever happens at the asylum, whatever happens in the city, I guess is not really my concern. Not primarily, anyway. I do feel bad, though, because Jeanette... Like, for people that like organization and being orderly and all that, she seems very chaotic. But at the same time, I didn't really get the impression she was evil. So I kinda... feel a little bit bad, but hey, what can you do? 